Welcome everyone. Today, we're diving into three powerful techniques to optimize large language models, RAG versus fine tuning versus prompt engineering. These methods each offer unique advantages for enhancing AI model performance and understanding when to apply them can significantly improve your projects. Retrieval augmented generation allows models to access and incorporate external knowledge in real time. Fine tuning takes a pre-trained model and specializes it through additional training on domain specific data. Prompt engineering focuses on carefully crafting inputs to guide models toward better outputs without changing their underlying architecture. Whether you're working on customer support chatbots, specialized AI assistants, or general language applications, choosing the right optimization strategy can make all the difference in your model's effectiveness and efficiency. While large language models are incredibly powerful, they come with some inherent limitations that we need to address. The most significant challenges we face are outdated knowledge, since models are frozen at their training cutoff date, and generic responses that lack domain-specific relevance. Fortunately, we have three powerful strategies to overcome these challenges. The first is Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, which gives models access to current information. Then, we have Fine Tuning, which specializes models for particular domains. And finally, prompt engineering, which helps extract better responses through crafted inputs. RAG, fine tuning, and prompt engineering form the toolkit we'll be exploring today. Now let's dive deeper into retrieval augmented generation, or RAG. At its core, RAG is a powerful hybrid approach that combines real-time information retrieval with text generation capabilities. What makes RAG special is how it dynamically enhances the model's responses by pulling in relevant external data to augment the original prompt. The RAG workflow follows four key steps that work together seamlessly. First, when a user submits their query, the system doesn't just rely on the model's pre-trained knowledge. Instead, it actively searches through your designated knowledge sources to retrieve the most relevant, up-to-date information. This retrieved data then gets incorporated into the original prompt, essentially giving the model better context to work with. Finally, the language model generates its response, now informed by both its foundational training and the freshly retrieved data. Let me give you a concrete example. Imagine an employee asks, what is our company travel policy? With RAG, the system would search through your company's latest policy documents, HR guidelines, and any recent updates. It doesn't just recall what the policy was during the model's training period, it finds and uses the current information. The model then synthesizes this retrieved data to provide an accurate, up-to-date summary of the travel policy as it stands today. This ability to bridge the gap between a model's static knowledge and dynamic, real-world information is what makes RAG such a valuable tool for enterprise applications, customer support systems, and any use case where having current information is critical. Let's now examine the practical trade-offs of using RAG in real-world applications. On the advantages side, RAG truly shines when you need current, real-time information. Unlike traditional models stuck with knowledge from their training date, RAG-powered systems can pull in today's news, this quarter's financial reports, or this month's updated policies. Another major benefit is that you avoid the costly and time-consuming process of full model retraining every time your data changes. You can simply update your knowledge base and RAG will automatically incorporate the latest information. However, there are some important considerations. The retrieval step does introduce some latency, meaning responses won't be quite as instantaneous as with a standalone LLM. There's also an infrastructure requirement you'll need to set up and maintain a vector database to store and search your documents efficiently. While tools like FAS or Pinecone have made this easier, it's still an additional system to manage compared to using a plain language model. The key is balancing these factors. RAG is incredibly powerful when you need accuracy with current data, but maybe overkill for applications where speed is paramount or the information is relatively static. The benefits of having always up-to-date responses far outweigh these trade-offs. Now let's turn our attention to fine-tuning, 
which takes a fundamentally different approach from RAG. Fine-tuning builds upon the powerful foundation of pre-trained language models by giving them additional specialized training. The core idea here is that we start with a general purpose model that already understands language broadly, and then we adapt it to excel in specific domains through targeted training. The technical process involves carefully adjusting the model's internal weights, essentially tweaking how it processes information to optimize performance on your particular type of data. For example, if we take a model like GPT and fine-tune it extensively on legal documents, court cases, and contract language, we transform it from a general conversationalist into a specialized legal expert. The resulting model develops a deep understanding of legal terminology, reasoning patterns, and citation formats that the original version simply could This specialization comes from exposing the model to thousands of examples from the target domain. In our legal chatbot scenario, we train it on question-answer pairs like what constitutes a breach of contract, paired with accurate legal explanations. Over time, the model learns to replicate this domain-specific expertise in its responses. Unlike RAG, which looks outward to external data, fine-tuning turns inward, enhancing the model's own capabilities to handle specialized topics. Fine-tuning offers some compelling advantages that make it indispensable for certain applications. Most importantly, it allows models to develop truly deep domain expertise by immersing them in specialized data sets. Where a general purpose model might only scratch the surface of technical topics, a fine-tuned model gains the ability to handle nuanced, domain-specific conversations with confidence. Another significant benefit is speed. Because all this knowledge gets baked directly into the model's parameters, you get faster inference times compared to RAG systems. This makes fine-tuned models ideal for real-time applications where every millisecond counts. However, this specialization comes at a cost, quite literally. The fine-tuning process demands substantial computational resources, often requiring expensive GPU clusters for extended training periods. There's also the phenomenon we call catastrophic forgetting to contend with, where the model becomes so focused on its new specialty that it starts losing some of its original. It's like training a brilliant general physician to become a heart specialist, they gain incredible depth in cardiology, but might start forgetting some pediatrics along the way. These trade-offs mean fine-tuning works best when you need deep expertise in a consistent domain and have the resources to maintain specialized models. The art of crafting inputs to unlock better outputs from language models without changing their architecture. Unlike RAG or fine-tuning, prompt engineering works entirely through strategic communication with the model. Think of it like being a skilled director guiding an actor. The same performer can deliver wildly different results depending on how you frame the request. There are several powerful techniques we use in prompt engineering. Few-shot learning is like showing the model examples of what you want. Imagine giving a chef a sample dish to replicate rather than just describing it. Chain of thought prompting breaks down complex questions into intermediate steps, essentially showing the model how to show its work like a student solving a math problem. And role-playing scenarios let us assign personas. Asking the model to respond as a friendly teacher or a technical expert dramatically changes the output style. The difference between weak and strong prompts can be night and day. A vague prompt like Explain AI might get you a textbook definition, while a well-engineered version like Explain AI to a 10-year-old with analogies and simple examples could produce something far more engaging and useful. Now let's weigh the practical realities of prompt engineering. The biggest advantage, immediate results with zero infrastructure. Unlike other methods we've discussed, you don't need new training data, GPU clusters, or vector databases, just thoughtful input design. This makes it incredibly flexible for everything from generating quiz questions for a history class to rapidly prototyping a new chatbot dialogue flow. Educators especially love this approach because they can craft age-appropriate explanations on the fly, tailoring outputs to different learning levels, but there are clear limitations. You're fundamentally constrained by what the model already knows. No amount of clever prompting can teach it about events after its training cutoff or proprietary company data it wasn't exposed to. And finding the perfect prompt often feels like tuning a radio. Lots of static before you hit the clear signal. 
teams might cycle through dozens of variations. That said, for use cases where speed and flexibility trump absolute precision, like brainstorming sessions, educational tools, or early stage prototyping, prompt engineering is often the perfect starting point before investing in more resource intensive approaches. Let's pull all these pieces together with a practical comparison. Imagine you're architecting an AI solution. This table is your cheat sheet for choosing the right tool. RAG shines when you need real-time dynamic data. Think customer support systems where policies change weekly. But remember, that freshness comes at the cost of speed and infrastructure. You're essentially building a search system alongside your LLM. Fine tuning is your power tool for deep specialization. Need a model that speaks fluent legalese or diagnoses medical imaging reports? This is your go-to. Just be prepared for the GPU bills and know that updating knowledge means retraining. It's not for fleeting trends. Then there's prompt engineering, the Swiss army knife in your toolkit. When you need to tweak a model's tone for different audiences or rapidly prototype ideas, nothing's faster. But it's like working with a bubbly intern who graduated in 2023. The smartest implementations often combine these. Maybe use RAG for current facts, fine tuning for core expertise, and prompt engineering to polish the voice. Your ideal stack depends on whether you're optimizing for knowledge freshness, response speed, or development agility. As we wrap up, let's cement these key insights. RAG is your solution when dealing with dynamic, ever-changing information. Perfect for anything from stock market updates to breaking medical guidelines. Fine-tuning becomes essential when you need deep specialization, transforming a general model into a domain expert that speaks the language of your field fluently. And prompt engineering? That's your rapid experimentation toolkit, ideal when you need to adapt outputs quickly without technical overhead. Now let's put this into practice with our Q&A challenge. Imagine building a medical chatbot. Would you choose RAG to pull the latest clinical trials, fine tuning to master medical terminology, prompt engineering to adjust explanations for different audiences, or most likely a hybrid approach combining these strengths? This is where the real art of AI implementation begins. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What combinations would you try for your specific use cases? Let's discuss how these techniques could solve your unique challenges.